Hey, I'm Shar. Welcome to Readings. If you like the way I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Welcome, new subscriber. Welcome into the room. God love you, darlings. Come on in. Spirit is screaming today. Spirit is all over this house. I can barely breathe. It's like oh, I could try to bring it down, you know? The energy is just flooding through me. I got some great feelings for my subscribers out there. As you know, spirit picks up on subscribers. I got some great feelings. We got a lot of health and healing and well-being going to happen out there. We got blessings coming in. We got some great tickety-boo wonderful things happening out there to you. Spirit's going to pick an Eckhart Tolle card. It's going to pick a Eckhart Tolle card. And I know I've read this one before, but let's read it again. It's meant for someone out there. It's meant for many of you out there. In order to read it, though, I need me trusty magic wand. Let's go. The great arises out of small things that are honored and cared for. Everybody's life really consists of small things. Greatness is a mental abstraction and a favorite fantasy of the ego. Oh my God, if I get that great big five bedroom house, oh, oh my life would be so wonderful. And then you get in there, God damn, I gotta clean this freaking place. <laughs> It's not all about fantasy of the ego. It's about the small things. The paradox is that the foundation for greatness is the honoring of the small things of the present moment. Not of what you want in the future. Not of the bullshit that happened in the past. Right here, right now. The small things are what matters. Instead of pursuing the idea of greatness. Right here right now what's happening in this present moment what are many of the small things that you can point out what are many of the small things look around you feel it inside i can see wow i can smell taste feel. I'm driving my car and listening. I can hear. Blessings. <sighs> Pisces. Let's go to the Gilded Tarot by Cyril Marchetti. But wait, before I do, let me give a, a quick shout out to just a, a few of you to say hello. What did I do with my shout-out list? <laughs> okay. Let me just give a quick shout-out. Panthea. Hi, darling. Tiffany Love. How you doing, darling? Neat Weaver. Millie. Deborah M. Sarita. Film and Vinyl. How you doing, Flim, darling? W. Rowe. I can just, I can feel your spirit. ML, God love you, my darling. Maria A. Hello, Maria. Mystique, C. Bink, Christy, Claudette, Liz. Uh, Bertie? Bertie? Pisces 8-8. Eight, eight. Cody Jade. Jude. Hey, Jude. Tamara. And of course, Pete saying hello to my moderators, Pete and Strawberry. Let's go to the Gilded Tarot. Let's see what we got for Pisces. Pisces, your daily reading. Join me tonight for the live. I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe we'll just do pick a card, what Spirit has to say to you. Pick a card. One word from Spirit. Maybe we'll do some spirit wants to speak to you. We'll do something like that. Please be patient. 
do not pay for the reading. If you want to donate or throw in a super chat, it's always appreciated. But it's, it won't be for spirit to pick you. Spirit moves about the room and lands on who he lands on. Okay. That being said, my darlings, come on. Come on. You will find this Eckhart Tolle card in the description box below. Breathe. Pisces, let's get her on. And let's get her done. Come on, Dan. Get her on. Let's get her done. Damn, the wheel is freaking turning. I know it is. The wheel is turning. Where are you going? Where's the wheel taking you, darling? Hold on. Damn, manifesting. The great wizard himself, the magician. Manifesting what? Good things. Blessings. Oh, you might be manifesting. You might be telling yourself the truth about something, a matter that might have happened in the past. With the seven of swords, a liar, a cheater, the destroyer. Telling yourself the truth about some sort of deception in the past. Might, might not even be a lover. It could be anything. Something that happened at work that might have cost you your job. Something with family. Maybe a good friend deceived you. Telling yourself the truth about it. Damn, okay, we got her coming back up here again. And we got some kind of emotion coming in. Is it a cup of love? It might be. But definitely some sort of emotion arising here. Trumpet blares. Or trumpet blares. <laughs> Judgment blares. It's mighty trumpet. Slow her down, spirit. Slow her down, my darling. I can't keep up. You're way too fast for me. Oh, okay. Okay. Love and money. Love and money. But this love and money is not something that you're holding on to, but somebody is holding on to. Love and money. What does it mean? What does it mean? But you'll notice they're both knights. It's not mature love. It's not matured maturity in money, in handling money. But can't let go. Whatever this energy is, it cannot let go. Let's find out more. Oh my God. This is somebody coming back. Pisces, damn, damn, Pisces, where are you going? Where are you going? What are you manifesting? Seeing the truth about a matter that happened in the past. And it's coming back. Whatever that matter was. It's something to do with immaturity and love, immaturity in money. And they can't let you go. Coming back. Looking for that blessings. Looking for that full cup. Damn, we got the tower coming in for them. We got the tower coming in for them. Oh, I don't think Pisces is going to put up with this. Like I said, this could be a family member, a friend, a good friend, some some kind of deception. Somebody screwed you around at work, cost you your job, had you laid off, something like that. Coming back, looking for that cup of blessing. And what they're going to find instead of that cup of blessing, they're going to be renting a room in the Tower Hotel. Feeling this soulmate connection. Feeling this soulmate connection. Look, coming back with the stick. Feeling this brethren soulmate connection. Brethren soulmate. What is this two of cups? And I like to call it a brethren soulmate. What is a brethren soulmate? Two people stand far off, clink their cups together. Cheers! This is none of this cozy, cozy six of cups. No. This is standing. 
this is brethren, friend, family, comrade, not a lover, immature in love, immature in money. You're not seeing something right now, Pisces. I want you to step very carefully because what's coming at you and you already know, you know what's coming towards you. But can you deal with it? I see the wheel. I see the universe turning in your favor. I see right now, you're probably seeing angel numbers. Probably feeling like there's a, was that a sign? What does that mean? That's, is that for me? What's Char talking about? Is that mine? But there's something that you're not seeing here. You got the devil. This is a devil. This is a brother and soulmate. This is somebody who looks at you like mommy or daddy. This is someone that they come to in dire need. This is someone that they come to when all else has failed. Immature, possibly selfish, but they can't let you go because every time they come, they get this. But today there's a change. They're going to get that. But still the warning goes out, Pisces, tread carefully. Don't tread where, where angels fear to tread. Comes the communication. With the communication, what happens? Walking away. Damn, I feel this so strong for a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of my subscribers. Health, healing, well-being. Damn, I'm getting up. I'm freaking getting up. Don't make me stand up, for God's sake. Because when I stand up, everything is stepping back. Damn, I can feel it. Spirit is just screaming at me. With the Nine of Pentacles coming in, tickety boo freaking card, tickety freaking boo, Pisces. Seeing things, seeing what you did not see. Now seeing it, conversation must be a hell of a conversation. Pisces says, "I am, I'm done." Must be a hell of a conversation. You know you push Pisces to the damn limit because. Pisces normally does not give up the empath in us. We will try until we die. Pisces walking away, tickety boo card coming in. I just see oh, the universe is friggin' spinning, spinning. Feeling really, really, really good. What do we got? Ten of Cups. What I like to call the real estate card. House, home, joy. Love will eventually come. With the Ten of Cups, love comes. Swimming pool in the back. Maybe children. Maybe existing children. Swimming pool in the back. Acreage. Room for a whole fleet of ponies. Drawing the sword. Making a judgment call. Listening. Listening to my intuition. I'm freaking standing up. Somebody's going to be very, very sad. Very, 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 very sad. Could be the king or the queen of love. Could be someone becomes very, very emotional here. Looking back at what they lost. Could be dealing with Pisces here. Pisces, Pisces. One more card. Leaving them out in the cold. There it is. Pisces, damn. It's been a long, friggin' hard road. It's been a long time coming. It's been a lot of personal war, and worry, and fret, crying, struggling for love. It's been a long, hard road. But damn, I see the path unwinding. 
to the Ten of Cups there. I see the tickety boo card. I see the universe saying, okay, Pisces, it's enough of that. Let's go. Let's get her on. Let's get her done. Damn, and I can feel it for a lot of you out there. I can feel it for a lot. Pisces, Libra, Aries with the Tower, Gemini, Pisces, Capricorn, Taurus, Gemini, Virgo. These are the prominent signs. All signs on the board. This is what's prominent. Pisces. God love you, darling. <clears throat> Before I go, Spirit. Before I go, do I dare? Yeah, why not? Let's pull an angel answer card for you. Sometimes they resonate with the reading. Sometimes they don't. I call them fillers. Let's throw in a filler before I go. Angel answer cards. Let's pull one or two for you, Pisces. And let's see what it has to say. Come on, Pisces. Pisces. Spirit screaming. Pisces screaming. Damn. I can hear Pisces right now. Just, I'm standing up. God damn it, I'm standing up. Mm, I've been on this couch for too damn long. I'm throwing open the curtains. What have I got? Damn! Abundance. Yes, yes, and freaking dee dee do. Come on. Pisces, let's pull one more. I'm going to try to bring myself down. My grandchildren are going to think I'm crazed. Got to go get the grandchildren. They're going to think I'm crazed here. What have I got for you? The situation will improve. Yes, indeed you do. The situation will improve. Abundance. The Eckhart card. Everything will be down below in the description box for you. No mistake, Pisces. No mistake.